This project is sponsored by PCBWay. They have all the services you need to create your project at the best price, whether it's a school project or complex professional project. On PCBWay you can share your experiences or get inspiration for your next project. They also provide completed surface mount SMT PCB assembly service at the best price and ISO 9001 quality control. Uh, visit www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, the Morse code is a language that people use to communicate with each other through telegraph, radio, satellite or with light. The language is a series of short and long bursts that are here on screen. The short bursts of sound or light are called DIT and the long bursts are called DAH. Visually, they are written as dots and dashes. HAM operators typically use a telegraph key or pedal to manually input Morse code which is then transmitted via radio waves. The Morse code is received and decoded on the other end by another operator. Learning to read Morse code is quite tedious and thanks to this device it is not even necessary. The signal for the receiver from the receiver converts dots and dashes of Morse code into letters and characters which are then displayed on a LCD display. Presented device can receive characters at speed of up to 60 words per minute. A loaded decoder is basically designed to work with a ham radio receiver. It can also be used to learn how to type Morse code signs. The device can be easily made and consists only of a few components. Arduino Nano microcontroller board, LCD display uh, 128 on 64 dots with ST7565 driver chip, uh, two capacitors, one 10 kilo ohm resistor, and one N4148 one N, uh, small signal diode. The components are mounted on a small universal PCB for compactness and better functionality of the device. The signal from the receiver is, bro is brought to the input of the device and it should have a level greater than 1 volt PP. If we use this device as a Morse code trainer, we need to connect a telegraph key uh, or an ordinary switch to these inputs for functionality testing. And now let's see how the device works in real conditions. First let me tell you that I have no experience at all in this area, so I made audio files on an online text to Morse code converter uh, with which I will simulate CW reception. Text Morse appears on the display when the device is turned on and when it is ready. Uh, next, we need to bring an audio signal to the input, noting that the voltage of this signal should be greater than 1 volt PP to function normally. On the upper right part of the screen is displayed the typing, spin, uh, the typing speed expressed in words per second and in the middle of the screen the decoded text. Uh, let's try word Arduino. Next, for example, hello. My channel name. or any other word. From the example, it can be seen that the decoding is 100% performed without error, which in real communication also depends on the 
experience of the radio operator who transmits the signal. This device can also be successfully used as a trainer for learning Morse code. For this purpose we need to connect a telegraph key to the SW inputs. I'm using arcade button that I made for a previous project of mine. And of course I'll try to type a simple message like SOS which consists of three dots, three dashes and three dots again. Or letter E or letter T. And finally a short conclusion. Uh, Morse code remains an essential skill among amateur radio operators. The, uh, it facilitates global communication, enabling enthusiasts to connect with others worldwide. Despite the availability of modern digital modes, many hand operators continue to use Morse code as a reliable and efficient means of communication. The device presented in this video is especially useful for ham radio beginners and also shortwave listeners who can monitor CW communications without knowing Morse code. In one of the following videos I will describe a device with a reverse function which will convert any text typed on a PC keyboard into a Morse code signal and this signal will be able to be sent to the transmitter through a 5V relay module whose contacts will be connected in place of telegraph key. At the end the device is embedded in a suitable box made of a PVC board and lined with colored silt adhesive wallpaper. The following is method of making this device. 